Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Van Orn and this is another Dragonair Silent Scott video. I'm in Vortex today because I want to show you my comp that I've been building and working on on all these days, building up to here. It's day 13 on my server and it's a pleasure to place this comp pretty much everywhere. It's so much fun. It's all due to one champion that's been introduced in season four. And I was preparing to do this video all focused on Orfena because she literally changed my account. She is one of the most interesting and compelling champion, in my opinion, introduced this season. She can be played everywhere. She can be your only DPS. She enabled herself. She made the entire class of a school of damage of the Thunderbolt much, much better. She made improved per Kunte, which was the exclusive for the Thunderbolt and make him viable for every kind of content, single target, multiple target. He can be played everywhere now. And I wanted to focus my video on her, but instead, when I was recording the video, I went through my Vortex team and I was showing my comp and my gear, and I've noticed that I've made a massive mistakes. So I'm swapping the video around a little bit. So we're gonna talk about our Fena and Percunte for sure, but I want to show you what I was doing wrong and what can happen so you know everybody can make mistakes deal with it laugh on it and move on that's nothing bad it's just a game so today i ran my vortex early on in the day i was quite busy i had to do something tonight and therefore i tried to step ahead of time and just rush my vortex done and so i've saved this score that you're gonna see on the screen 30 uh, 77 million almost and I'm ranking 34 overall on the leaderboard. It's a good result. Don't get me wrong. It I think most players will be so happy with some score like this. But I'm trying to compete on the leaderboard this season. I'm trying to get up there and be consistent. And so any mistakes can be causing some damage. Nevertheless, let's jump on here and have a look at my comp. And you can see I can run uh, Ardrit and Garius to give me basically the massive defense, the shielding from Garius. I'm running a Stallion and I'm running per container Fena to be my DPS. Ardrit was my Witch's Remain applier in this column. She has enough accuracy to do the job and it's all due because I have built basic I had basically pulled this um, accuracy. Um, negative rune for her and so i thought oh let me move the witches remain on her and so i did she's in protection she plays the decrease defense and the witches remain was originally on a stion she has a multi-hit ultimate i can build her with accuracy and she was basically placing my decrease attack a decrease defense sorry so i've moved back the witches remain to 100 as it was in the beginning i've given her back the horn which increased my damage by stacking up with healing stacking up damage and bringing up you know 4.5 times 3 increasing my damage overall and the comp and she was in zero set now if you're smart more than me probably you already spotted what the mistake was when i moved the artifact around i didn't swap the gear and so i've run a stallion which doesn't have any debuff on the ultimate unless she can remove a buff and I left her with a zero set. And so she doesn't have debuff, so she doesn't give me the increased attack. Well, she's gonna place the decreased defense, but she doesn't have the zero set, so I'm not gonna have the increased increase attack anywhere. Garius is built in Oasis set to take less damage, especially from the striking. He has very high defense. I've been lucky enough to get a Moonlight Mantle to build that crazy big shield. He has the uh, Gatekeeper stuff, and so he has massive shield building every rotation. And then I have my DPS built, you know, with the new Matriarch gem, one of the new sets, the Emissary, which give you attack and skill haste. I've been able to pull two sets of this one. They are not amazing, but they work. I have some attack percentage with crit rate of both of them. And I'm using the Poison Swamp on uh, Perkunte to get more, more crit rate and more crit damage. Everything is built and test few time. But then obviously something happened like you're pulling a negative rune, you're moving the accuracy around, you're moving the artifact and you forget the gear. You still get end up with a very good run, 
You feel like you improved from the day before and you rush to save. And that was my mistake today. We're having this little competition in our clan. I'm in the same clan with uh, Scratch and Neva and we're running kind of similar potential comps on the Vortex. And uh, so every day is kind of, you know, banter between us and trying to beat each other. And it's fun. It's just fun. And I'm placing over here. I think I got anywhere score higher than Neva. And then Scratch tonight probably just put in his team over here and did almost 82 millions. He's running an unkillable team with uh, Zephy and Ogok. And he's running Corrosion. His team is going to scale way more than mine when we start building more uh, Psyche Core, when we get him better gear, when he gets his team running. I have no business in competing with Scratch. But for now, I can keep up and I find it funny. So, as I said, was recording the video, recognize I did the mistakes, jump back in over here and swap the gear around as it should. And it's now finally as it should. And I'm going to show you over here that I've swapped that around the sets. Now, Ardred, actually, let me show you from this uh, screen over here, which is probably most interesting because you can see all the stats. Ardred is now in zero set. So when she plays the decrease defense, she's going to give me also the increased attack. She has 3.7 defense, 3.7k defense, which is really good at this point of the game. 61,000 HP and the right accuracy to do the job. We need 200 accuracy on this boss. She has over 200 accuracy when this is going to build, be built completely with debuff from the three element to affinity. She has 257 at the moment. She's going to be basically already at 270, which is the accuracy needed for the last stage. But obviously, you're going to swap around to get the five element to affinity. Then we are running Garius with 3.6 defense, which is also very good. He's my highest HP tank because he's taking the lightning from the boss. He has the gatekeeper stuff, which is an incredible and powerful artifact that you should definitely get as your second or third. I've just finished recording a collaboration with, uh, with Scratch about a beginner guide. Go watch it on his channel when it's going to be out. We spoke about the artifact as well, and you're going to find there our opinion. But nevertheless, this artifact is incredibly powerful on this champion. And then, obviously, I'm running as Dian with the protection set now. She is the one taking the damage from the others. Look at that defense. 4.2 defense. She is the one keeping the team running, soaking up the damage, getting heal back, and applying with the heals the increase damage. Now, this one is going to sum with the increased attack that Ardred is going to give. And this means that my DPS are going to do way more damage than they were doing before. I'm going to boost even more this one as soon as I had the resources. And she is very, very good at doing this job. Now, the DPS, as I said, they are built with the emissary set. I have Orphena at only 34% plus 40% coming from the artifact. So she's at 74%. Uh, am I right? Yeah, 74%, 107 crit damage, nothing crazy. 4k attack, which is good for this point of the game. I'm running epic runes. I don't have anything better at the moment. The only one that I have for her is an accuracy with some attack speed, a bit of skill haste, attack. I'm trying to use what I have. And Perkunta is built with the Poison of the Swamp, which give me crit rate, crit damage, stack up when I'm healing. This is an amazing, amazing artifact introduced in Season 4 and is helping a lot to reach the crit rate needed. It's 52% plus what I get from the artifact. We're getting almost 80-something percent. Good crit damage, nothing crazy, very high attack due to probably an attack gauntlet. I don't have anything else in this um, set. So I'm running what I have. And he has also an attack positive rune. If I get some neg uh, positive runes with uh, more crit damage, a crit damage one with some crit rate underneath and possibly attack percentage, I will drop a bit of that to build more. Maybe then I can swap to another set. 
because there are potentially sets that can do more damage than this one. But at the moment, this is what I have. For timing, let me show you what I run. I left Orfena go as free as she goes. 18.9 seconds, the often, more often she goes, the more she builds up that uh, electrocution proc, the more she builds up the overwhelm from Pakunta, the more he will do damage. And Pakunta is going at 20 seconds with 20 second rotation because I want that decreased defense to be up. The uh, healing from Stion, it's over time, it's every second, so the more you wait, the more probability you have that that decreased defense is going to be up. She's going at 16.6 with Ardrit. They're going together. And therefore, when healing, the, shoot, the decreased defense is going to be up. Garrus is going at 26 seconds every 20. And this is what I've been running since the beginning of the season. This team can go the, the distance. Let me run this run in the background and I see you on the other hand so you can see the final score. <laughs> Here we are at the end of the run. We almost reached the 80 million on this run specifically, but I'm gonna put up on the screen screenshots of a run that I just done before recording. And you're gonna see that is almost 84 million. So 8 million more than what I did this morning, just swapping around the gear in the right place and getting that increased attack. No, this is not going to destroy my account. It's something that I can laugh about because I've been honestly a bit dumb to not recognize that I moved that artifact. I should have moved the, uh, the gear as well. But nevertheless, it was fun. And I think it was fun for me to share this uh, video of a mistake because we all make them and we should make fun of ourselves. I hope you guys enjoy it. It was also a little bit of a guide on this team for the Vortex, at least for stage three. You can see what I'm using as a gear, what I'm using as an artifact, and how far you can push this comp if you have this champion. As I said, Orfena made this possible. This team would have not been nowhere near this result if you take her out because enabling per Conte it's almost impossible with the other legendary, especially on a single target. It worked on a Mecha Torque in Season 2, but nothing else worked so far. She made this possible. And again, if you have it, consider building her. She's going to very much help your account. 
This is everything for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, as usual, consider liking and subscribing. I'm going to work on more comp and I'm going to come with more videos so you're not going to miss out. And this is everything for today. And until next time, have fun. Yeah.